Right here in the pro Drupal development. Um, I knew absolutely nothing about Drupal when I started at Bookman's and working on this site, and I read 90% of this book, and I would consider myself pretty well versed in it now. Um, if you get through this book and need to read something else, you are doing some really, really heavy shit that I, like, you're <laughs> way over my scope at that point. I can't help you at all at that point. So that's, if you get past this recommend, recommended reading list, then Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this guy, he, and you know, it's really, really well written, everything's diagrammed out perfectly for you, it's really easy to understand, um, you, you may have to read some passages and some chapters a few times for it to really stick, but he's, it's a really good book, I can't plug it with that. Do you have it in the What's that? Do you have it in the That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to say, given the nature of movements, whether or not it's there. Well, you're a, you're a web developer, and you understood it. With, uh, with a dummy like me, understand it. Um, the book assumes that you know PHP because it's how to develop in Drupal. There are other books that take the tact of uh, like how to design for Drupal or how to build templates for Drupal. Um, but this is a pro, I mean the title of the book is Pro Drupal Development. So it's for developers and it assumes that you know what a LAMP stack is. It assumes that you know what PHP is and how to write in PHP. Um, it doesn't assume that you know the PHP template engine. It explains that. It explains how modules are written and all that type of stuff. But yeah, it assumes some developer knowledge on the reader's part. Uh, other resources. <laughs> IRC, I know it's like the oldest technology ever. And it's you know really geeky, but the guys who are in this IRC channel, is Drupal one, there's always like 60 or 70 people in there, and there's always five or six people who can help you, and they're really really nice guys uh, that hang out in that channel, and I can't tell you how many times they saved my ass. <clears throat> they they it's really an invaluable resource, uh, and then Acquia is uh, owned by the guys who wrote Drupal. And it's a uh, it's commercial support for Drupal, so Bookman's uses it, and um, they monitor your site to make sure it doesn't go down. They've got full ticketing systems. You can call them and say, you know, I'm having an issue with these comments. You know, under these really weird circumstances, things don't work, and uh, they'll walk you through step by step how to do it. We had some questions on how to have a development server and a live production server, and they literally sat on the phone with me and said, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. You send you some simple code, we can send you some database stuff, so what we've done in the past. Um, they're, it's, they're an amazing resource. And really, really cool, nice, friendly guys who just are willing to help out. They uh, even gave us at Bookman a lot of support for free. Without even, I sent him an email one day, and he just got back to me and said, this is how I would do it. So uh, it's a really, really good resource. I can't plug it enough either. And then me. <clears throat> I'm willing to take questions, field phone calls, respond to emails, to chat, whatever, Twitter, whatever you guys want. You know, I would like to get a really good, strong Drupal community here. So if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to ask. And then you can just go through email, chat. Um, my website has all my contact information on there. My Twitter ID, you can DM me, you can um, send me an email, whatever. If you need help with any Drupal development, I'm definitely willing to uh, at the very least, point you in the right direction. If if not, you know, if I can't actually help you with writing code and getting things set up all together. So, and I think, yeah, that's so that's Drupal. Um, it's I know it's really high level, and I don't know if you guys have any questions. Um, how interested everybody in here is? Yeah, go ahead. Can Drupal be virtual? Uh, what do you mean by that? For example, I'm an ISP and I have several virtual hosts, so I don't want to install 20 copies of Drupal on 20 different virtual sites. Do you know what can it be installed once and then just given access to the various virtual sites? Or? Um, off, my instinct would be to say no, at least that it's not something it was intended or designed for. Uh, it uses configuration files that I could see it having a hard time on. on so it's unique to the domain? Well, you can set it up no. to share the core. You can put it in the, the share PHP library folder, so you can okay. put parts of the core in there. It's, it doesn't work out of the box that way, but uh, you, you can have the libraries and the core files be okay. centralized location. But you can run multiple sites on the same core. Can you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I've never encountered that. So, so yeah. it's like, it's a lot of people in here than I.
Is it, is it a mod? A what? A mod for Apache or? No, it's not. It's PHP. So it's so straight PHP. PHP so. But you can, there's a lot of resources about how to do it. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you can. <laughs> yes, sir. Talk about what you had to do over the year of developing a site and did you write your own modules? Obviously, it's. Yeah. Um, what I encountered in writing it, and I think um, from the research I did, this is a pretty typical Drupal experience, especially for a corporate level site. Um, we, we hired a designer, you know, that gorgeous design that you saw, um, and then he wrote the HTML and CSS part, which I had to convert to PHP template language. Um, and, and putting that together, there was a heavy mixture of writing my own custom modules, um, because I either I didn't want to use it, admin interfaces for some stuff, or it was too small a task to be like using the views module or something to pull out data. So I wanted to get my own custom data out of the database. Um, and you know that combination of that and writing the, the theme for it. And the theme was the, the heaviest part for me, of, uh, just because I, I had never done anything with PHP template before. And Drupal has got to, kind of like a set of standards, they call it the Drupal way of, of writing um, code. And sometimes I'll admit it's a pain in the ass because uh, you know, if you're used to just developing an application or a website, you're like, yeah, I'll just go in there and I'll write these, these functions or methods out the way I want to. Uh, but Drupal wants you to do it a certain way. And it, it, there's good reasons behind it. It's so that way when you upgrade your site and you upgrade your modules, you stay compatible and you're not, you're chasing your steps, redoing work. Um, but mainly for me, it was a lot of nights with that book, of <laughs> reading about how to make a, a theme. And that was the hardest part for me was the theme. Um, most contributed modules handled what I needed to do. I should say what I would have needed to do with Drupal. Um, I think we've got four custom modules and 40 something contributed modules on our site. So it was, it was mainly getting a theme to look appropriate.